One day, the sun will dim and spread a shadow over the earth. Temples which have stood forever will be destroyed. The heavens will vanish and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day the weak will have power over the strong. The poets will stop singing and instead take up the sword. It is in these darkest times that the strongest of heroes are born.
been hard on us. These monsters have made things hard. We don't have walls. We don't have city guards. And now, crocodiles that walk like men attack us nightly. These crocodile men raid our village. They steal our children and our livestock. And then they're gone. It is too much for us. How can we tend our farms? How can we work and live? The reptilians, that is what we call them. They are too strong. They are ruthless. We are at their mercy. What brings a foreigner such as you to this place along the Nile? Might that thing be sold here? Come again. Have you heard? A fierce breed of monsters has begun attacking our farms. It's true. I was unloading baskets of papyrus from my boat when I saw them. They crept out from the marsh along the river, then attacked our village. I won't even venture down to the water's edge after dusk. You must understand. Every year the River Nile rises. If it didn't rise, our crops would not grow. If it rises too much, our homes and farms are swept away. Not enough, and we starve. This is our life. These monsters are clearly sent by the gods, maybe by Set, who is the old enemy of Osiris. Say that somebody went and defeated all the reptilians. Can you believe it? You know what they're saying. That some... You are the one who saved us from the reptilians. To us, you are the greatest hero. We do not have much, but please accept this thanks. When no one else cared for simple farmers. You came and saved us. Isis give you long life and happiness. 
Is there something you may be looking for? Good Thank man. you. Hail, good hero! Imhotep asked us to watch for you. Just yesterday, this temple stood whole and complete. And now, look, it has been ransacked by Telkin. We did all we could to stop him, but we were powerless against the ancient sorcerer. I do not know what he wanted. There are many mysteries which the Order of Prometheus guards, mysteries from before the War of the Gods and Titans. Imhotep fled when the Telkin came, escaping with some of the temple's most sacred texts. He left me with a message for you. He has gone to Memphis and waits for you there. Follow the Nile and you will come to the great city. It was a strange and fearsome scene, I can tell you. He had no interest in us. It seemed as if he were searching for something. You can see for yourself how the Telkin left our temple. Yeah. <sighs> 
have no more room. Your health. Thank you. That was a bit close. Thanks for getting me out of that scrape. For the most part, I can hold my own, but I'll admit I was in a tough spot when I arrived. So you heard about the Telkin attacking us. I don't know what it's after, but it doesn't seem like we have the power to stop it. I'm fine now. Really. Thanks for asking. Yeah! <laughs> 
good warrior. We are the poor whom all disdain. Others have walls and guards to shield them from the monsters, but our mud hats are overrun. We have nothing. We had little before, and we've lost even that. No home, no place to sleep. We had little before, and we've lost even that. No home. Brave warrior, you have returned homes to the homeless. You have helped the lowest of the low, whom the priests will not even acknowledge. Please, have this. Take it as our thanks. May Horus, god of the moon, shine upon your darkest hour. By destiny, Osiris was the first pharaoh, and he ruled over the land with Isis, his queen. He taught us to farm the land, to peel and bake, to count and record. But Set was jealous of his brother, and he devised a plan. Set built a beautiful box of cedar and told Osiris that whoever fit inside could have the box. Osiris, trusting his brother, lay down inside. Wicked said, quickly closed the box and nailed it, then threw it in the Nile. But when Isis retrieved the box, Set grew angry. He found it and tore it open and cut his brother into 13 pieces, throwing them into the Nile. Isis again went out. She searched and searched, but found only 12. She then took wax and with magic formed the thirteenth part. In secret, hidden from Set's eyes, she performed the rites and ceremonies so that Osiris could properly enter the land of the dead, where ever since he has reigned. And just like Osiris, the first pharaoh, do all our pharaohs go to death. Yes, and it was Horus, son of Isis and Osiris, who reigned in Egypt thereafter. And when he was old enough, he made war on his evil uncle Set. 
Set was banished to the desert, banished from Egypt by all the gods. Sometimes it is hard to remember the old life. When I do, it is as a sweet dream. That life, the life of a priest, was a good one. Yes, I was a scribe priest. As thoth to the gods, so was I to the high priests and the pharaoh, recording things of great importance. We have tried to follow the old ways. But with the monsters, everything is so hard. I am Zazamak, the High Priest of Memphis, second in power to Pharaoh himself. The truth is, times are difficult. You see what with the monsters and Pharaoh in hiding, many are beginning to doubt the priest's power. If our authority is not respected, there is no order. If there is no order, people will panic. There will be chaos and the monsters will take the city. Everything ruined. We have magic but not enough to stop the monsters. Without authority, Memphis is lost. Egypt is lost. Some troublemakers have started demanding that we show the power they believe we have. If you care to help, there is a staff of legendary power. I would pay dearly for it. With it, we could preserve order in Memphis. We could lead. We'd have a chance. See? The problem is, the staff is somewhere in the Great Pyramid of Giza. That is, the tomb of Khufu. It will not be easy to obtain, I assure you. The problem is, the staff is some... The problem is, the, the problem is, the staff is some... Ah, I am relieved to see you. Things have not gone well. Uh, we were horribly unprepared to battle a powerful Telki. No one has seen one since the war between the Titans and the gods. But now, they seem to be everywhere. It is more important than ever that we proceed with the invocation ceremony. Only the gods can protect us. Thank you for retrieving the scroll of invocation. And now, let me see. To complete the ritual of invocation, we must first collect the Eye of Chaos and the Hand of Balance. The Eye is rumored to be somewhere beyond the Fayum Oasis. I believe the Hand of Balance is in Giza. Recover these artifacts and bring them to me. Only then can we summon the gods. Uh, but be on your guard. In these times, peril lurks at every turn. I am afraid I know no more about the location of these artifacts than I have told you. The Hand of Balance is thought to be somewhere in Giza, perhaps in the Pyramid or the Great Sphinx. The Eye of Chaos should be somewhere near the Fayum Oasis. Seek these artifacts and return to me. Here's one. You there. How about the job in the Pharaoh's army? No, of course not. Nobody wants this job, not these days. Have you heard the talk about this Greek hero? Mighty as the heroes of legend. Kill the evil magi who made the beasts, is what they are saying. I have been a soldier all my life. I could not leave it. Sometimes I think with a true and mighty leader, we might just... Ah, but what is the chance of that? The truth is, things are bad here. Plenty of soldiers have died, but more have deserted. Pardon me. Have you seen a man by the name of Unas? He is my brother. He has vanished. 
and I fear the worst. I am afraid Unus has gone on a foolish, dangerous errand. According to family legend, somewhere in Giza, a mystical guardian sleeps in a tomb. I fear he has got it into his head to try and find this creature. The story is long. I had three brothers. They were all the family I had. All held important stations in the Pharaoh's army. But one night, when the monsters first attacked, they were ambushed. Unas got away. The others did not. 